Hi, Dwayne Henry Hofer Lyon, the street preacher, people's poet. We're in a series, Conversations with the Street Preacher. Our theme today is recognizing Jesus. Jesus Christ was and is the most misunderstood, unrecognized, and misread person, Jesus, God in the flesh, in history. Every Easter, every Christmas, Time Magazine and others write an article about who is Jesus. He's betrayed many times as somebody that he's not. He's not recognized. At the Last Supper, the disciples, there was Peter who would soon deny Jesus three times, making a big spiel about how he wanted to go everywhere he went. He didn't understand what was coming. There was Judas who would not only deny but betray Jesus under death. He didn't know who Jesus was. I hear people say, oh, if I'd have been there, then I would have this. They were there. They didn't. Washing the disciples' feet. Peter didn't want his washed. John didn't want to baptize Jesus. He didn't understand him. He misread him. They didn't understand the full meaning of the Lord's Supper. They didn't understand the prediction of Peter's denial. They slept while he was in agony in Gethsemane. They didn't understand Jesus, so they'd have been up praying. They didn't understand the betrayal and arrest. Ananias misread Jesus. Caiaphas didn't comprehend Jesus. The council rejected Jesus. Pilate didn't understand Jesus. The Jewish council, Herod, the Jews rejected him. Pilate condemned him. The soldiers mocked him. The people denied him. And those that led him away, they had no clue who they were leading towards that crucifixion. They didn't understand the crucifixion. People said things. They revealed they had no clue who Jesus was on the cross. His death, burial, and resurrection. All through Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, we read where people misunderstood Jesus and they missed out. Our setting today is in a beautiful, very old Catholic church. So I wanted to mention that. One of the few that also is a museum. So, hope you enjoy the view. Friend, we're not going to run down the disciples and say they this and that. What about us? Do we recognize Jesus? If we reach out to the least of them, we visit the prison, feed the hungry, clothe the naked, we're doing it under Jesus. If we deny them, we're denying him. It's not time for us to get on a silver horse and ride off into the sunset patting ourselves on the back because we deny him when we deny them. Jesus is coming soon. Are you ready? Is your neighbor ready? Do you recognize Jesus at work? Do you recognize him at school? Do you recognize him in heavy traffic? Do you recognize him at the football game, the soccer game, the ice hockey game? Do you recognize him in your dealings with the public? We misread Jesus. Many times we have an agenda and we want God to line up with that agenda. God is the one that drew the blueprints. He's the one that made you and knows you. So we cannot be self-righteous. I'm preaching to myself now. said before, I lived much of my life on the mountaintop, but when you get in the valley, you're a little bit more humble. You're a little bit more sober. You're a lot more merciful and forgiving when you need forgiveness. So Jesus Christ, unrecognized, do you really know him? And I've asked people, are you interested at all in Jesus? Do you want to know him? 
Do you think this life is it? And that we're rushing through life and someday we'll slow down and breathe and enjoy life? No, friend. Many, many people look back on a wasted life, a squandered opportunity. You're working as a cashier in a supermarket or a quick stop. You got the largest congregation probably in town. They walk by you every day. They're hurting. They're dying. They're off in sin and drugs, abusing alcohol. They need help. But we don't recognize them. Just check them out. Push them through the line. Doing our job. We'll get our money. And then someday we'll be on the mission field. You're already on the mission field. Walmart, dollar store, dollar tree. Even if it's somewhere in a, for free, that's your congregation. Marketplace Christianity, lifestyle evangelism. You're a missionary. Every person hearing my voice, you're called by God to reach out. But we look, and if our plaque ain't on the wall in our picture, stating that we're a missionary, we think, well, that's them. There's them and us. No, it's all of us. For Jesus, Jesus is for all of us. Think this over, friend. Christianity is a lifestyle. It's a state of being. It's every day. People are hurting and people are hungry. We walk by them in the mall. Do we take time to reach out? Are we looking at the television more than we're looking at people? Are we more concerned with our landscape and our yard and our house than we are the house of God? Friends, I'm, I'm burdened as I travel America and travel the world. There's so many distractions in life. It's a dangerous day that we live in. Perilous times shall come. Perilous times are here. That trumpet's going to blow. Sadly, a lot of people are going to be left behind that are expecting to go. Think on this. You can't recognize what you're not looking for. Think that over. Thank you.